it is very important to continuously self-assess yourself. Look at the progress. Look at the strides you're making in as far as whatever it is that you're doing is concerned. The problem we have with many people is that they don't want to take the time to self-evaluate or to self-assess themselves. They continue doing the same thing, repeating the same thing the same way. And by so doing, they find they are having the same results. And because they have the same results, there is no progress, there is no success, there is no increase, there is no improvement. And for that reason, they live a very, very frustrated life. As I speak to you and as I talk to you about uh, having the ability to predict your success, one of the ways of being able to predict whether you're going to succeed in life or succeed in things or succeed in your ministry or your business is when you are able to self-assess yourself, to evaluate yourself and then be very honest about things that are not working or things that are working in as far as your life is concerned. The beautiful thing is that when you're able to genuinely and honestly assess yourself, then you are able to also make decisions that help you to move on. There's no reason to stay stuck. There's no reason to stay in one position or remain in the same point, doing the same things and failing in the same way. Yet you could actually drop whatever it is that you're doing and start again. There is nothing wrong in starting again. If something is not working, drop it if something is not giving results or if something is not growing or if something doesn't seem to be moving anywhere the best thing you can do with that thing or the best thing you can do for yourself is you leaving it or dropping it i know of people who have issues when it comes to leaving things there are people who get so hoarded or so attached to things so much so that they would rather die or they would rather uh, go get finished while they are still holding on those things listen to me my friend if you want to succeed in life you must learn to leave things things that are not working in your life you need to drop them things that are not happening or things that are not growing things that are not moving you need to drop them that actually also includes relationships if you are in a relationship that doesn't seem to be taking you anywhere if you're in a relationship that doesn't seem to pro progress or grow or become something in as far as bringing progress in your life is concerned or bringing success in your life is concerned my friend this is the time to say bye bye to that relationship this is the time to say bye bye to that thing that you're holding on because the more you are holding on it the more it is keeping you not the more it is slowing you down the more you're holding on it the more you cannot be able to move why because that thing which is not working is actually a burden it's like a dead weight that is over you that is basically slowing you down and making you not be able to go or to progress in as far as whatever it is that you're doing is concerned so what am i saying today one of the ways of actually predicting whether you're going to succeed or one of the ways of predicting success in your life is when you learn how to self-assess yourself is when you learn to be self-aware of yourself you need to be able to look at yourself and ask yourself this one question whatever it is that i'm doing right now is it working and if it is not working do i need to keep on holding on it whatever relationship that i'm in right now is it working and if it's not working do i need to hold on it whatever it is that i'm involved in is it growing is it progressing and if it is not progressing do i need to continue with it my advice to you in this few minutes that i'm speaking to you is that anything that doesn't seem to be progressing anything that does not seem to be working and it's all over you it is time to drop it because keeping it will maintain a weight in your life and that weight will cause you to slow down will cause you not to progress will cause you not to move and you don't want that to happen to you some of you don't have the guts to be honest and say this is not working well i'm challenging you today and i'm telling you today on your face you need to make a decision today and say you know what this is not working i'm leaving it i'm dropping it and i will not do it in my life i have found myself in places where i have had to drop things i have had to actually undo things or leave some things when i realized they were not working for me when i realized they were not bringing me any progress they were not growing they were not creating any kind of wealth for me there are times i have actually had to make that decision of saying you know what this thing i'm leaving it i'm dropping it because as long as it's with me i am not going anywhere what is it that is a dead weight over you what is it that you're holding on that is causing you not to be moving what is it that you're holding on that is actually slowing you down i want to let you know categorically it is time for you to drop it 
please do some self-awareness on yourself. Do some self-assessment on yourself. Do some self-evaluation on yourself and discover the things that are slowing you down. It is time to do what? It is time to drop them, leave them, and move on. Because if you hold on them, you shall not succeed. You can be able to predict your success when you do things in the correct manner. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to me. I hope that has encouraged you. I hope that has challenged you. And I hope when we meet again, you will be telling me there are things you have dropped, there are things you have left. Down here in the comment area, please go ahead and comment. Talk about that a little bit. If there are things you feel you need to drop, tell me down at the area, there are things I must drop. God bless you so much. I hope to see you again in the next video. Now remember, I'm coming only three times every week and I look forward to having you being with me. If you're here and you have not subscribed, I ask you, please go ahead and subscribe right now and it will be good to have you as part of this family. Now remember what I always say, let's meet in the field of the millionaires because that's where you and I belong. God bless you. Ciao and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.